Imagine a place where laughing in public is restricted, where buying items in commercial establishments is a challenge, and where a connection to the global internet is a distant dream. Furthermore, imagine that at night, you can be left in the dark due to frequent power cuts. As unimaginable as it may seem, this is the reality experienced by 25 million North Koreans. This is the bleak landscape of North Korea. The consequences of the division of the Korean Peninsula have resulted in two nations with distinct destinies and opposing influences. While South Korea moved towards modernity, North Korea entered a prolonged geopolitical tension, an extension of the Cold War. Kim Il-sung, the grandfather of the current leader Kim Jong-un, is an iconic figure in this North Korean scenario. Despite his Korean roots, it was in Manchuria that he solidified himself as a resistance fighter against Japanese occupation. Over time, he aligned himself with Soviet forces, rising to the rank of captain and subsequently becoming the cornerstone of the North Korean regime. Driven by the support of the Soviet Union, which saw him as a strategic ally, Kim Il-sung launched a conflict against the South. Subsequently, power was inherited by his son, Kim Jong-il, who remained in control until his death in 2011. With the rise of Kim Jong-un, the leadership of the nation continued in the same direction. If you've ever felt outraged by the suppression of freedom of expression in your own country, the North Korean reality can be even more terrifying. Any criticism of the government, no matter how minor, is dealt with extremely harshly. In North Korea, the political landscape is marked by intense surveillance. Citizens are constantly monitored, both in their daily activities and in their digital presence. Education is rigid and seeks to shape people's minds, leaving little room for dissenting opinions. The isolation of the population is noticeable, with severe restrictions for those wishing to travel abroad. The minority that is allowed to cross the borders typically consists of diplomats, exceptional scholars, selected professionals, and athletes. However, even these individuals are under constant surveillance and undergo debriefing sessions upon returning to the country. Foreign tourists, on the other hand, when visiting North Korea, are closely accompanied by guides who oversee all aspects of their stay, from attire to interactions and behaviors. Recording images in specific locations or venturing out independently is strictly prohibited. Visits are conducted under strict supervision, with the constant presence of a local guide. Those who violate the rules or attempt to cross borders illegally can face drastic punishments, including forced labor, physical punishments, or indefinite detention. Seclusion is not the only challenge faced by North Korean citizens. Access to the Internet is limited to 28 websites, all under state control. These portals provide basic information, such as local cuisine, national news, and academic information. Those caught consuming foreign media can be sent to detention camps or even face the death penalty. In terms of journalistic freedom, the nation ranks at the bottom, in 180th place, indicating an extremely repressive environment. The motivation for such control is to prevent any external influence that could threaten the official narrative that glorifies the Kim lineage and criticizes nations like the United States and South Korea. In an effort to consolidate their power, the Kim dynasty has reshaped history, claiming that Kim was the great liberator of Korea during the Japanese occupation. The people are compelled to refer to him as the supreme leader, and his image is honored in monuments throughout the nation. His birth is celebrated at the end of December, Unfortunately, celebrating during certain periods is a luxury denied to the citizens of North Korea. One of the most unusual guidelines established by the regime is the prohibition of expressing joy, drinking alcohol, or engaging in festivities during the morning days in memory of Kim Jong-il. Annually, a 10-day mourning period is observed starting on December 17th. In 2021, recognizing the mark of a decade since his death, the mourning was extended to 11 days. Any violation of this rule results in detention and criminal charges. However, the restrictions don't stop there. State control even extends to the personal appearance of citizens. There is an official catalog that dictates acceptable haircuts, with 14 options for each gender. In addition, certain fashion trends are prohibited. Very tight pants, jeans in general, leather shirts, long overcoats, spiky hairstyles, extravagantly colored hair, distressed jeans, mohawk-style haircuts, and nose piercings. 
Disregarding these guidelines can result in severe penalties, such as being sent to the dreaded Kwanlizu camps. In these places, political dissidents and their families are subjected to hard labor in hostile environments. Countless victims are imprisoned in these camps due to the guilt by association doctrine that extends to three generations. According to this policy, up to three generations of a family can be incarcerated because of the actions of one of their members, regardless of their guilt or innocence. Simple associations with former prisoners or those who have escaped from North Korea can lead to charges. Camps like Kualin 15 and 16 have the capacity to hold around 20,000 people each. It is believed that the total number of individuals detained in these facilities reaches approximately 120,000. Information from the region indicates that the country is facing its worst food crisis since the devastating famines of the 20th century. It is estimated that about 5% of the population, nearly 1 million people, are dealing with severe food shortages. North Korea, while reluctant to liberalize its economy, continues to strive for self-sufficiency, even though it has land that is not well suited for agricultural practices. The global health crisis has intensified the existing adversities, and the country has remained steadfast in its decisions to limit imports and keep its borders sealed. Despite international entities offering to assist North Korea in the face of food shortages, the country's main news outlet discourages any reliance on foreign aid, likening it to poisoned candy. According to the World Food Program, nearly 40% of North Koreans are in precarious situations and require humanitarian assistance. The severity of the crisis has led authorities to recommend the use of human excrement as fertilizer to boost agriculture. Each resident is required to produce 150 kilograms of manure, in addition to working in government-run industries. The energy issue is also a significant obstacle, with constant problems in electrical supply. Under the leadership of Kim Jong-il, it was common for power outages to occur at night. However, during Kim Jong-un's tenure, there was an advancement, with public lighting being kept on during the night. Nevertheless, this progression did not last long due to increasing demand in Pyongyang. Currently, regions outside the capital have usage limitations, and the excess power is reallocated to Pyongyang. Interestingly, concerning electricity, if a resident exceeds their daily quota, they will spend the rest of the day without light. Another notable peculiarity was a conspiracy theory in April 2020. Rumors circulated that Kim Jong-un had been replaced by a body double, and that he had actually passed away, given his disappearance from public appearances for weeks. This disappearance led to many speculating about his possible deteriorating health. Despite his seemingly healthy appearance, speculations emerged that a body double might be in his place, with the authentic Kim possibly no longer alive. South Korea's intelligence agency investigated the matter and concluded that it was indeed Kim himself. However, this assertion is based on meticulous analysis of high-definition videos and facial and body identification techniques. There is, however, a chance that the North Korean regime could use old footage to conceal the truth about Kim. Considering the secrecy of the nation, any scenario is plausible. In summary, North Korea remains a notoriously enigmatic territory, but I harbor hopes that, in the future, its citizens may enjoy greater freedom and autonomy. What are your thoughts on all of this? Are you interested in getting to know such a country up close? In summary, North Korea is an enigma that many of us yearn to understand better. It is hoped that over time, things will change for the better for its people. Are you ready to embark on this journey of discovery with us? If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay updated on upcoming analyses and information. Your support is crucial for us to continue bringing rich and relevant content. Until next time, till...